This is my Doctor Strange magic hands. He does magic hands. That's what Doctor Strange does, right? He does magic hands. It's about as much as I know about Doctor Strange. So we have a Doctor Strange trailer. We've heard that Marvel's going to be doing a Doctor Strange movie for quite some time. Benedict Cumberbatch was cast as Stephen Strange. His name is Stephen Strange. It sort of harkens back to that Victor Von Doom style of Marvel naming. His last name just happens to be Strange. <sighs> I do recall that Stephen Strange was mentioned in Captain America Civil War. So they've already slowly started to tie him into the universe, but we don't really know how he's going to work fully in with all of these other characters. Now, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, you will know that I am quite the big comic book fan. However, I am not terribly familiar with Doctor Strange. So I was excited to see this trailer. I was excited to discover what they were going to do with the character of Stephen Strange. From what I know, he uses magic. He uses sorcery. And I was interested to see how that would fit into this Marvel Cinematic Universe because the Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of science. You have Tony Stark. He built the Iron Man suit. You have the Incredible Hulk. It is explained that Bruce Banner was experimenting with gamma radiation. Spider-Man built his web shooters. He was bitten by a once only radioactive spider. There's not a lab full of spiders that can bite you and turn you into Spider-Man. It was an accident. It was a, it was a once in a blue moon occurrence. Otherwise, why isn't everybody just walking into Oscorp and getting bit by spy? Don't get me started on the Spider-Man. This is about Doctor Strange. And so Doctor Strange's powers, they don't necessarily fit into that box. They don't fit into that idea of a grounded scientific Marvel Cinematic Universe. And from the trailer, I'm even more interested because it looks like what they've done is they've taken the quantum physics route. They've taken the alternate universes, parallel universes, alternate timelines, alternate dimensions. You have that one shot of what appears to be like the skyline of New York City or some city that's on the edge of the ocean and it splits off into four different cubes and they separate. It's like, are we doing parallel universes? Are we doing alternate timelines, alternate realities? This could be really cool. I did that like Matrix Dojo style thing where Tilda Swinton just was like, punch your chakra out of your body, Benedict. He's like staring at his own essence. Or I guess his essence is staring at his own body. What's going on? Teach me. They're tapping into that idea that human beings are capable of more than what we just perceive with our five senses. And I think that's an excellent way to take this character. You don't know all the different realities. You only know what your five senses can perceive. As we know, Benedict Cumberbatch, he's playing the role of Stephen Strange. We also get Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton's in the movie. I believe she's playing the Ancient One. And we have Chiwetel Ejiofor. It looks like we're building a very strong cast, which is always great. As my best friend John Campia says, it's never a problem to bring in good talent. And this film looks like it has plenty plenty of good talent. It appears like this is an origin story, but that's okay. We, there are some characters that I won't get into. Again, I will, I will refrain from getting into. Some characters don't need an origin story anymore because we fucked it up four times before and we don't need to see that anymore. There's other characters where, yeah, we might need to be introduced to this character from scratch. We've never seen Doctor Strange in a movie. Unless, uh, was there a made-for-TV movie in the 1970s? I believe I heard. That's, you know, there was also a 70s live-action Spider-Man, but we're not really counting that. I'm also interested to see what takes Stephen Strange on this journey. It looks like from the trailer, he is some sort of wealthy doctor. There's that shot of him walking in a very expensive-looking tuxedo over to the windows of what appears to be a very expensive condo. And there's that voiceover that says, your work has helped millions of people or thousands of whatever the number is. Your work has helped all these people. And he's sort of looking out on the city and that's superimposed with a very scraggly looking version of the same character looking out on the same city. So I'm interested to see what happens to him. It appears like maybe he gets into some sort of an accident. I know that Doctor Strange's hands are somehow injured or disfigured or mutilated. Something happens to him that sends him on this journey. I was very much reminded of Batman Begins. 
the journey that Bruce Wayne takes, where he's sort of like, look, you're the Prince of Gotham. You'd have to go 100 miles for anyone not to know your name. Those are almost direct quotes from that film. Like, look, dude, you grew up in a mansion. You have no idea what it's like to be poor, to have to steal, to have to commit crime in order to sustain your own well-being. You have no idea what that's like. And I sort of got that vibe from Doctor Strange. Like, maybe his wealth and his success has disassociated him from his fellow man, and he needs to sort of go on a journey of self-discovery. And I really like that. I'm excited to see the film. Overall, guys, I was really, really impressed with the Doctor Strange trailer. How about you? Did you see the trailer? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and you want to see any more of my ramblings about trailers, comic books, movies, you can always click right there to subscribe. There aren't any bloopers for this one. Nothing funny happened. Nothing funny happened in this video. In this film. Why am I going into Bill Cosby? I don't know. The thing about the Doctor Strange is that he has the hands with the powers and the magic and the thing, and he does the thing with the lightning and the dog. That's what Doctor Strange would sound like if narrated by Bill Cosby. The one impression that I think sounds semi-decent and can't use it anymore. First world problems, guys. Where did Gracie go? Where did Gracie go? Oh, my goodness gracious. Look, you can do the, you can do the hands too. You can do the lightning hands. Do you want to borrow from me this? No beso. No beso? No beso.